Anatole Rapoport was a Russian-born American mathematical psychologist. He contributed to general systems theory, mathematical biology and to the mathematical modeling of social interaction and stochastic models of contagion. Biography Rapoport was born in Lozvaya, Kharkov Governorate, Russia into a secular Jewish family. In 1922, he came to the United States, and in 1928 he became a naturalized citizen. He started studying music in Chicago and continued with piano, conducting and composition at the Vienna Hochschule für Musik where he studied from 1929 to 1934. However, due to the rise of Nazism, he found it impossible to make a career as a pianist. He shifted his career into mathematics, getting a Ph.D. degree in mathematics under Otto Schilling and Abraham Adrian Albert at the University of Chicago in 1941 on the thesis construction of non-abelian fields with prescribed arithmetic. According to the Toronto Globe and Mail, he was a member of the American Communist Party for three years but quit before enlisting in the U.S. Army Air Corps in 1941, serving in Alaska and India during World War II. After the war, he joined the Committee on Mathematical Biology at the University of Chicago, publishing his first book. Science and the Goals of Man, co-authored with Semanticist S. I. Hayakawa in 1950. He also received a one-year fellowship at the prestigious Center for Advanced Study in the Behavioral Sciences in Stamford, California. From 1955 to 1970, Rapport Pott was professor of mathematical biology and senior research mathematician at the University of Michigan, as well as founding member, in 1955, of the Mental Health Research Institute at the University of Michigan. In 1970, Rapport Pott moved to Toronto to avoid the war-making ways of the Vietnam-era United States. He was appointed Professor of Mathematics and Psychology at the University of Toronto. The university appointed him Professor Emeritus in 1980. He lived in Bucolic Witchwood Park overlooking downtown Toronto, a neighbor of Marshall McLuhan. On his retirement from the University of Toronto, he became Director of the Institute of Advanced Studies until 1983. University of Toronto appointed him Professor of Peace Studies in 1984, a position he held until 1996 but continued to teach until 2000. In 1984 he co-founded Science for Peace, was elected president and remained on its executive until 1998. In 1954 Anatole Rapoport co-founded the Society for General Systems Research, along with the researchers Ludwig von Bertalam Fee, Ralph Gerard, and Kenneth Boulding. He became president of the Society for General Systems Research in 1965. Anatole Rapoport died of pneumonia in Toronto. He is survived by his wife Gwen, daughter Anya, and sons Alexander and Anthony. Work Rapoport contributed to general systems theory, mathematical biology, and to the mathematical modeling of social interaction and stochastic models of contagion. He combined his mathematical expertise with psychological insights into the study of game theory, social networks, and semantics. Rapoport extended these understandings into studies of psychological conflict, dealing with nuclear disarmament and international politics. His autobiography, Certainties and Doubts, A Philosophy of Life, was published in 2001. Game theory Rapoport had a versatile mind, working in mathematics, psychology, biology, game theory, social network analysis, and peace and conflict studies. For example, he pioneered in the modeling of parasitism and symbiosis, researching cybernetic theory. This went on to give a conceptual basis for his lifelong work in conflict and cooperation. Among many other well-known books on fights, games, violence, and peace, Rapoport was the author of over 300 articles and of two-person game theory and n-person game theory. 
He analyzed contests in which there are more than two sets of conflicting interests, such as war, diplomacy, poker, or bargaining. His work led him to peace research, including books on the origins of violence and peace, an idea whose time has come. He won a computer tournament in the 1980s based on Robert Axelrod's The Evolution of Cooperation, which sought to understand how cooperation could emerge through evolution. The contenders had to present pieces of software that would play iterated games of the prisoner's dilemma against each other. Report Pot's entry, Tit for Tat, has only four lines of code. The program opens by cooperating with its opponent. It then plays exactly as the other side played in the previous game. If the other side defected in the previous game, the program also defects, but only for one game. If the other side cooperates, the program continues to cooperate. According to Peace Magazine author, editor Mata Spencer, the program punished the other player for selfish behavior and rewarded her for cooperative behavior, but the punishment lasted only as long as the selfish behavior lasted. This proved to be an exceptionally effective sanction, quickly showing the other side the advantages of cooperating. It also set moral philosophers to proposing this as a workable principle to use in real-life interactions. His children report that he was a strong chess player but a bad poker player because he non-verbally revealed the strength of his hands. Social Network Analysis Anatole Rapoport was an early developer of social network analysis. His original work showed that one can measure large networks by profiling traces of flows through them. This enables learning about the speed of the distribution of resources, including information, and what speeds or impedes these flows, such as race, gender, socioeconomic status, proximity, and kinship. This work linked social networks to the diffusion of innovation, and by extension, to epidemiology. Rapport Pot's empirical work traced the spread of information within a school. It prefigured the study of six degrees of separation. By showing the rapid spread of information in a population to almost all, but not all, school members, conflict and peace studies according to Thomas Homer Dixon in the Toronto Globe and Mail, Rapport Pot became anti-militarist quite soon after the war. The idea of military values became anathema. He was a leading organizer of the first teach-ins against the Vietnam War at the University of Michigan, a model that spread rapidly throughout North America. He told it a teach-in. By undertaking the war against Vietnam, the United States has undertaken a war against humanity. This war we shall not win. He said he was an abolitionist, rather than a total pacifist. I'm for killing the institution of war. In 1968, he signed the Writers and Editors War Tax Protest Pledge, vowing to refuse tax payments in protest against the Vietnam War. Rapport Pot returned to the University of Toronto to become the founding professor of Peace and Conflict Studies program, working with George Ignatieff and Canada's Science for Peace organization. As its sole professor at the start, he used a rigorous, interdisciplinary approach to the study of peace, integrating mathematics, politics, psychology, philosophy, science, and sociology. His main concern was to legitimize peace studies as a worthy academic pursuit. The Trudeau Center for Peace and Conflict Studies continued to flourish at the University of Toronto under the leadership of Thomas Homer Dixon and from 2008, under Ron Levi, when Rapport began, there was one professor and 12 students. Now, there are three professors and 90 students. Rapport students report that he was an engaged and inspiring professor who captured their attention, imagination and interest with his wide-ranging knowledge, passion for the subject, good humor, kind and generous spirit attentiveness to student concerns, and animated teaching style. In 1980, his famous tit-for-tat strategy for the iterated Prisoner's Dilemma tournament held by Robert Axelrod was published and in 1981 Rapport Pot co-founded the international non-governmental organization Science for Peace. 
He was recognized in the 1980s for his contribution to world peace through nuclear conflict restraint via his game theoretic models of psychological conflict resolution. He won the Lenz International Peace Research Prize in 1976. Professor Rapoport was also a member of the editorial board of the International Scholarly Journal of Environmental Peace published by the International Innovation Projects at the University of Toronto edited by Biswajit Ganguly and Roger I. C. Hansel. Publications. Rapoport's books and articles include books. 1950, Science and the Goals of Man, Harper and Brothers, New York. 1953, Operational Philosophy, Integrating Knowledge and Action, Harper and Brothers, New York. 1960, Fights, Games, and Debates, University of Michigan Press, Ann Arbor. 1965, Prisoner's Dilemma, The University of Michigan, Ann Arbor, Michigan. 1966, Two-Person Game Theory. The Essential Ideas, Ann Arbor, Michigan, The University of Michigan Press. 1969, Strategy and Conscience, Shock and Books, New York, New York. 1970, N-Person Game Theory, Concepts and Applications, University of Michigan, Ann Arbor, Me. 1974, Conflict in Man-Made Environment, Hallman's Worth, Penguin Books. 1975, Semantics, Crowell, 1975, 1986, General System Theory, Essential Concepts and Applications, Abacus, Tunbridge Wells, 1989, The Origins of Violence, Approaches to the Study of Conflict, Paragon House, New York, 1992, Peace, An Idea, Whose Time Has Come, University of Michigan Press, Ann Arbor, Michigan, 1998, Decision Theory and Decision Behavior, Macmillan, Hound Mills, 2000, Certainties and Doubts, A Philosophy of Life, Black Rose Books, Montreal, 2000, His Autobiography, 2001, Skating on Thin Ice, RDR Books, Oakland, California, 2005, Conversations with Three Russians, Tolstoy, Dostoevsky, Lenin, A Systemic View on Two Centuries of Societal Evolution, Kovach, Hamburg, Articles, A Selection, 1953, Spread of Information Through a Population with Socio-Structural Bias, I. Assumption of Transitivity, in Bulletin of Mathematical Biophysics, 15, 523-533, 1956, with Ralph W. Gerard and Clyde Cluckhone, Biological and Cultural Evolution, Some Analogies and Explorations. Behavioral Science 1, 6-34, 1957, Contribution to the Theory of Random in Bias Nets, in Bulletin of Mathematical Biology 19-257-77, 1960 with W.J. Horvath, The Theoretical Channel Capacity of a Single Neuron as Determined by Various Coding Systems, in Information and Control, 3-335-350, 1962, The Use and Misuse of Game Theory, in Scientific American, 207, 108 to 114, 1963, Mathematical Models of Social Interaction, in R. D. Luce, R. Bush, and E. Galanta, Handbook of Mathematical Psychology, New York, New York, John Wiley and Sons, 1966, Two-Person Game Theory, The Essential Ideas, Ann Arbor, University of Michigan Press, 1974, with Lawrence B. Slobodkin, An Optimal Strategy of Evolution, Q. Rev. Biol, 49-181-200, 1979, Some Problems Relating to Randomly Constructed Bias Networks, Perspectives on Social Network Research, 119-164, 1989, with Y. Yuan, Some Aspects of Epidemics and Social Nets, pp. 327-348 in the small world, ed. 
Ed. by Manfred Kochen, Norwood, N.J. Ablek, about Rapport Pot, Ron C. Sillage, Anatole Rapport Pot, Academic 1911-2007, Toronto Globe and Mail, January 31, 2007, S7. Ches McFarham and Sims, Memories of Anatole Rapoport, Peace Magazine, April 2007. 14. Eliza Ferguson, Rapoport was renowned mathematical psychologist, peace activist, University of Toronto Bulletin, February 20, 2007. Marcus Schweininger, Obituary Anatole Rapoport. Pioneer of systems theory and peace research, mathematician, philosopher and pianist, systems research and behavioral science, volume 24, 2007, pp. 655-658.